Hi, friends. So we are um, going to read our last book of the year to you. And we thought it'd be fun if all three teachers helped read. So we are going to read Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss. If you have this book at home, and it's pretty popular, so you might, you can get it and follow along with us. Fox, socks, fox, knocks. Knocks in box, fox in socks. Knocks on fox, in socks, in box. Socks on knocks, and knocks in box. Fox in socks, and box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then, I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Socks on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on Knox on box. Now we come to ticks and talks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on Knox talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six six brick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all these ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and talks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an, here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks, whose socks? Sue socks. Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue socks. Who sees who sew? Whose new socks are? You see Sue sew Sue's new socks are. That's not easy, Mr. Foxer. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks of fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. <coughs> Sue sews rose on Slow Joe Crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows, nose hose goes some, crows rose grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of blue goo, of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey gooey, blue goo, new goo, bluey gooey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. Uh, that's what that goo, goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, choose to chew, sir. With that goo, you sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes. Ben comes. Bim brings Ben broom. Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends. Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band, Bim's band. Big bands, pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Bim's band brooms. 
pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that, no sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks in lakes duck likes. I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox now, come now, come now. Don't you have, you don't have to be so dumb now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Stop it, stop it, that's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Nog, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetle Battles. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle Battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Puddle a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle. And when Beetles Sorry. when Beetles battle Beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the Beetle Battle Puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle pu Bottle Puddle Battle Paddle Muddle. And When beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle, tweedle poodle, beetle noodle, bottle paddle battle. And... Now wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle, if they're paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle noodle puddle bottled, paddled, muddled, duddled, fuddled, waddled, fox and socks, sir. Fox and socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. And. And on the very last page, it says, now, is your tongue numb? <laughs> I read the whole thing by myself, it feels awfully numb. I like <laughs> reading it this time. Are there, I think some of these are harder than others. I really like the Tweedle Beetle Battle. I think that one's fun to say. But the loop and Lick and Luck and Duck, ugh, that one's not for me. Nope, that was hard. <laughs> it seemed it. So did the Freezy Cheese one, Miss Helen. That one was tricky. If you guys have this at home, you should challenge your parents to read it to you at bedtime. All right, guys. We hope you've enjoyed all of our read-alouds and all of our videos. Bye. See you next year. Bye.